Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the new year. Happy New Year 2020. We are here, second day, rolling through. Hope you all had a happy and safe new year. Uh, it's just Bob and I today. Sean is out dodging wildfires of Australia, or otherwise uh, hopefully having a good time after ringing the new year ahead of all of us. Uh, this is uh, Wix Online Meeting 181. It's been a month. We'll go do the usual stuff like triage. I'll talk a little bit about one Wix 4 topic, remaining work, since that's the thing that I was looking at most recently. And then we'll take our usual questions and comments. Uh, right now, I'm not sure we have anybody in the peanut gallery, so it might be not a whole lot of questions and not a lot of comments unless we come up with stuff for ourselves. As always, this meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now, which seems like a lot of you. <sighs> so without further ado, I think triage, Bob. I'm ready. Wow. That's interesting. I wonder what happened there. Wow. Uh, we're still skipping that one. We're waiting for an answer on this one. 28 days ago. Um, an issue about edge and the edge that we don't care about because it's going away. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. I'll, I'll run Chromium. Cred. Cred. And, yeah. and uh, see if I can repro with uh, the SDK bundle. All right. Yeah, I guess that would be easy enough. Okay. And then that, if not, then we'll call that good. Yep. Wix build on TFS pre build too early. Pre build step where heat calls. Are done to generate this forever. It's called too early. This seems to have a small problem. Should have after resolve references. Oh, they want to move the pre build event till after resolve references. Yeah, you can see it a little better if you edit um, GitHub kind of crunched the XML. Ah, I'm not logged in. I can't edit. Um, fix it for them um yeah okay but i mean i guess i could see that this seems like a good thing for us to fix in four because i could see why you might want pre-build to happen after resolving references although it's pre-build which we yeah. need before resolve references they want pre-compile well, so I'm a little, I'm a little fuzzy on on. Well, part of it's the the pre-build event. I mean, that's a, you know, a, a gross escape hatch for customizing builds. Yeah, no, I think they're wrong. Pre-build is before the build task, so it's in the right place. It should not be after resolve references. If they want something, maybe they want before compile. Or after resolve, but we don't want pre-build to be for to be after resolve references. Because what if you're using pre-build to affect resolve references right now? Right, right, exactly. So uh, no, this is wrong. Um, they want something else, but moving pre-build is the wrong answer. Uh, th this statement is incorrect. Pre-build is too early. No, it is in the correct place. It is very early, and then we'll go from there. So, uh, no. <laughs> I think the answer to that is no. They want something else. And there are ways of getting that in MS build, if, even if Wix doesn't expose them. It feels like there might be a before compile. Well, I guess there's not. We'd have to, I'd have to go look. I haven't looked at compile and link. That might have a before target anyway. Oh, that's interesting. See, now I'm going to have to go look real quick. How fast can I find this file on my machine? I have to find the Wix 3 source tools. You know, honestly, let's try it this way. Let's see if I can find it on the code so people can follow me here. All right, Wix 3, since that's what we're looking at, not 4. Source tools. By the way, we're not fixing this in 3 anyway because that would break people. Um, tools? Tasks. Wix task end. Capitalization on GitHub is a thing. All right, Wix dot targets. 
then loads. This is on the yeah. quick. 314, so there's only one. Huh? It's 314, so there's only one. Ah, right. All right. So anyway, pre-build happens that. Yes, that is correct. So now let's look at compile and link. Now, Grant, I am looking at 314. Yeah, look, there's a before compile and link. So they went before compile and link, which is after resolve references. Yay! Now the only question is, was this in uh, 314? So let's go to a tag, um, 311.2, because why would you be running anything less than that right now, right? Uh, yeah. Tools. I guess I could have just changed that when I was in that file. Oh, although I need to go now to this file. All right, cool. I, I can't believe that this changed, so... Seems unlikely. That's resolve, resolve, resolve. Where is Kapal and Link? Oh, good grief, a lot more references. There's pre-build event. Again, as we'd expect. In its correct place. Yeah, there it is before Kapal and Link. Nope, they're wrong. They are just wrong. They just picked the wrong event. Pre-build event is happening in the correct place. They want to um, override and otherwise mess with before Kapal Link. See, cool. can find that target to do that. Oh, that is some weird fonting. Anyway, cool. Problem solved. And we had the solution for them. Yay. Yeah, and then there's also, like, Abe's talking about, you know, before, or Abe, Abe. Wow, what was that? Is that, like, the Prime Minister of Japan, or was? Anyway, um, Abe, although it's MWO, so who knows. Anyway. Uh, it may also make the point that the before targets and after targets are there, and I think that, oh, you have to plug in any stage of the build, yes. There's also the before target that you can override. Anyway. Uh, no, net, net, they are wrong. No, in a nice way. Compile link. So, yes, other ways of getting what they want. And that's everything, right? Yeah, I believe so. Cool. So I want to go back and talk about what's remaining in Wix 4, because this is what I've been um, looking at the most. And these are the big things. Um, we've talked about some of this before. In the past, this list used to include bundles, but I believe bundles are pretty much ready to go at this point. So that was a large one checked off. That leaves us merge module consumption, which is not a terribly large thing to do, and honestly it's just have to kind of like a couple nights probably knock that out. Merge modules, the way that they have to interact with the system are, um, because they have to interact directly with the MSI, the built MSI, that just uh, affects the, the optimizations that we do in the build, and I want to try to make it such that if you don't use merge modules, you get a more efficient build um, you get the most efficient build, and then if you use merge modules, then you have to do th some things that are not as efficient. So hopefully the majority of people don't have this problem, given that merge modules have kind of become less of a thing. And is certainly if you're just sharing content in Wix, you should use Wix libs and not merge modules. Is, is this uh, optimization like getting out of the IDT game? Yeah, no, no. We'd still be using the IDTs to build the MSI because that's the fastest way to build the MSI itself. But we have to do work post-MSI, post-merge to fix up the MSI when doing merge modules, which ends up complicating things earlier. And if you don't have any merge modules, we can avoid doing chunks of work. Cool. And that's what I kind of want to do. Um, that's why it's not just a simple port of, well, just do what Wix3 did. It's, you know, I'm trying to be a little smarter. Um, especially since you know, if you don't, people don't have merge modules as much, then you'll just be that much faster. Um, the next big thing is patch creation. And patch creation has, uh, due to requirements of one of the Fire Giant customers, has bubbled to uh, the top. So even though merge module consumption is listed first here, patch creation is probably the next big thing to be tackled over the next couple months. Um, and this has large implications everywhere because um, it's approaching patching and figuring out the best way to solve patching given what we've learned about the build pipeline and things like that in Wix 4, trying to optimize patching in that new world. Because patching came along after Wix 3 was pretty well established, and we just kind of put it in. And 
given its complexities of patching in general, I'm just wondering if there's a way that we can do better. So uh, that's going to be a big thing. I know if Jacob was here, he'd be very, very happy because he's always asking about when is patching going to work again? Well, um, in the next couple of months, it will become a thing. Instance transforms are, um, on the other end, compared to patch creations, are trivially small amount of work. But since they depend on transforms, um, as their name would imply, uh, and transforms are generally used while dealing with patching, by solving patching, that'll bring us all the infrastructure necessary to do transforms in hopefully whatever the most optimal way to do that is. And therefore, instance transforms will reuse lots of infrastructure and hopefully be relatively small. It's a pretty small amount of code right now to create them. Like, I don't know, it might even be contained in one single file. It's just the transform creation code is missing um, or just not complete. And so with the reevaluation of the world with patch creation, my hope is that we can, instance transforms will follow along quickly. So that says that these are, and these are the big things. These are the things that are notably missing features if you use try to use Wix 4 in a you know if you build Wix for yourself and try to use it now these are notably missing features um, there are will be plenty of polish work bug fixing and otherwise making things uh, correct after uh, these three big items are done but after these three big items definitely will feel like um, we need to get an alpha or whatever we call a first release out. We need to get a preview, a preview one kind of thing out is my thinking. Um, and it's all kind of coming together. Patching was always kind of hanging over the head of when is that going to happen because it's a lot of work and it looks like it's, we end up with a forcing function and that'll get it into the next couple months for us, which is um, good, very good. Nice to have that nice to have someone needing it and that we can focus on it in our part of uh, everyday work here, Fire Giant. So that's a good thing. Am I missing anything, Bob? I think that's everything. That's um, certainly the certainly the big items. Um, there are a number of little things just, you know, because Wix has kind of accumulated a bunch of small tools over the, the years. Um, and, and, you know, some of those are still kind of up in the air, how we deal with them, you know, replacing them, porting them over to Wix 4 is usually going to be a trivial thing. Um, but I think it's also kind of the right time to look at some of these things and say, do we still need these? Are these things we want to bring? We want to bring forward. All right. That's good. I, I'll, I'll get that into a topic. If not two weeks, then in four weeks. Um, to kind of go through a survey of all the things and kind of talk about what we're doing with each of those tools. Um, and hopefully yeah, be... four weeks, because a number of them are related to patching. Uh, yeah. So hopefully with a better understanding of what the plan is for, uh, what, not the plan, what the optimizations can be, what optimizations can be done for patching in Wix 4 may reduce the number of tools. For example, I have a dream of getting rid of Pyro and just having that be a part of the pipeline. Um, and then we don't have to worry about that kind of um, out-of-band uh, tool as it is. So uh, let's do that in two, but more likely four weeks, I think, from now. Sounds good. All right. I think that's a great topic. Um, all right. So on that note, <laughs> now I've lost track of where my cursor is. There we go. That's what I'm trying to get to. Questions, comments. So actually, we started this before we started recording. Uh, Bob and I were talking about how, wow, you know, the last meeting we had was uh, December 5th, which basically was four weeks ago. And that uh, before that, I think we'd skipped one. And so the given the triage rate and things like that, I raised the question, well, maybe we should be doing these meetings monthly instead of every um, every couple weeks. Um, so I'm looking for input on that, especially as people are showing up here. Would we get more people if we did it every only once a month? Um, would we lose anything if we only did it once a month? Um, I know Bob was like, we should have cover more topics than just triage, which I don't disagree, but that does require uh, more planning and effort to uh, <laughs> yeah, um, definitely, definitely. come up I'll with be. stuff to present. Now, the interesting thing, though, is with Wix 4 approaching, you know, a, a 
more widespread public release, there is more stuff that we can talk about. But definitely, you know, preparing it and being able to talk about it intelligently without too many ums and whatnot is a challenge. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to hear about my day-to-day -day battles with patching over the next couple of months. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to have much there. Uh, so I'm going to put that out. I'll probably send it out to Wix Dev, see what people think uh, about monthly. The other thing that, even as you said that, as Wix 4 comes out, we may end up with a lot more bugs when Wix 4 comes out. Sure. Um, well, sure. Our first first releases, yeah. Yeah, so the, the bi-weekly, or the bi-monthly, bi-weekly, whatever the word is there. I never liked those. Yeah. Double definitions. Anyway, the twice a month, every two weeks cadence may actually be good if we're getting a lot of Wix 4 bugs. Fortnightly. Fortnightly. <laughs> What's that? Every 14 days? Um, yeah, Fortnite. Two weeks. Two weeks. Fortnite. That way you avoid the, is it semi-monthly or is it bi-weekly or semi-weekly? Right. I think it's semi-weekly. Semi-weekly. Uh, but that's why I like Fortnightly. No confusion. As long as you know what Fortnite means. Right. Um, yeah. So I, I we can we can bounce around that. The nice thing is that Wix 3.11 is stable, and we're not getting a lot of stuff in that. So that's a positive just overall. Um, Definitely. Which means that we're going to be in a good spot to move forward with Wix 4. They'll be like, yes, Wix 3.11 is fine. There haven't been that many bugs open. We're not many changes in it. All that is goodness. So yeah, it's time to do all the new stuff in Wix 4, which is generally what we've been trying to say, trying to do, yeah. and with fewer issues, it's been working better. <sighs> so on that front, I think that's all I have. Uh, anything else from the people on the stream or Bob, anything you want to talk about? I'm looking forward to, to talking more about Wix 4. I've already started um, a rough outline of a, of a, Probably a series of blog posts on the new extensibility model. Mm, yes, because it's a big change, and I've already done some pretty cool stuff with it. So I would really like to, you know, find the time to to lay out what you can do now. Yeah. All right. Well, that would be a great topic to cover in one of these meetings too. Sure. Okay. Well, barring anything else. I think we're going to call that the meeting. Uh, at this point in time, I'm going to roughly say that we'll be back in two weeks, um, which would be the 16th. Wow, we actually have three meetings this month if we do the two-week thing. Right. Um, really makes me wonder if we should just go straight to the 30th. No. All right. We will I'm, pencil it in on the 16th, and we'll send a conversation around saying that should we just meet on the 30th, and then we'll go uh, from there given how quiet things are and that, well, I know patching won't be done in two weeks, so uh, we won't have a release any time in that time frame. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. I guess until then, we'll be back in, well, we'll say two weeks, and you guys have a wonderful time. Hopefully we'll have Sean with us next time. And uh, welcome to 2020. That just sounds crazy, doesn't it? All right. Till next time. Bye. Bye.